Okay guys, so just a quick look at this little battery powered lamp. It comes with a micro USB cable, so you can charge this thing, run it off batteries, or you can plug it in and run it, you know, however you like. Uh, power bank or through a wall type outlet, something like that. It comes with a little information and you can see it's very lightweight, just over a pound in weight and I don't know how well it's going to show up but hopefully you can see the button. There's the touch control and there's a slightly recessed area that's the touch for the lamp and if we touch and hold that we can change the brightness so I don't know how much difference you're noticing in that but it does make a pretty big difference and then the fan control is right there it's not super quiet, but it's not terribly noisy. It moves a little bit of air, but it's a relatively soft blade, sort of a rubber type material. So you're probably not going to have any injuries from anyone, uh, children or, any, or pets or anything. So it's not something that would be something I would be too worried about. This does a really good job, though, of lighting up a desk area. So if you were going to do some reading or anything, it comes with 16 LEDs that only require about three watts of power. So that's really nice and it's flicker free LEDs so as far as your uh, your eyes are concerned it's not going to be uh, detrimental to your ability to see and not be affected by that for people some people get affected by the sort of a, a, I guess it's a cycle or a flashing I don't remember the term exactly that uh, occurs with the, some LEDs sort of a strobe like effect in the polling rate I guess uh, is what comes to mind. I'm not sure that's the right term though. So that's not uh, so much of an issue with this particular lamp. Um, there's some measurements, but of course, because this is flexible, and depending on where you adjust it to, exactly the height, but uh, in the way it's set up right now where the curvature is just a little over the fan area, it sits close to 14 inches in height. Fully extended, it would of course be taller and the base is uh, almost five and a half inches uh, in size. So you probably can't see it too well, but there is your charging port. And when it's plugged in, there's a little red LED that shows through the plastic that will go off after it is fully charged. Um, as far as the brightness of the light it's sort of a warm white light somewhere close to the 4000 kelvin range so that's overall just a really nice little lamp um, i don't really have any other information that's pertinent to share with you at this point but if you want to find out more information about this if you want to read about the uh, specifics that maybe i didn't cover you can check in the link below the video and you can also read other reviews. But overall, it is pretty cool. No pun intended with the fan reference there. But uh, yeah, that's it. The fan itself, as you can see, I mean, it's not gonna do a whole lot. But it does a little, so. I guess something is better than nothing and as hot as it is out right now it actually feels pretty good and I can feel it from about a foot away but it's not going to move a huge amount of air but for a desk fan just to cool one person definitely works uh, I wished it moved a little more air I can definitely feel it it is definitely cool and it's definitely better than the heat I was feeling from being outside earlier with the humidity we're having so hopefully this shows up I decided to do it in a dark environment because I wanted to really showcase the actual uh, output of the light and show that it covers a pretty good area in a desk. Okay? Thanks.